Hello, we will solve the first lap of the JSON Web Token Attacks topic from the Web Security Academy. The name of the lab is JSON Web Token Authentication Bypass via Unverified Signature. Okay. I use the built in browser of Burp and I also use the JSON Web Token Editor extension of Burp. Go to your browser and click the my account link and put in wiener and the password peter and you see in the http history tab there are some requests are highlighted that means that these requests contain json web token click the get request to the endpoint my account and send this request to burp repeater Peter. Okay, now change in the request section the request line to admin and send the request. You see in the response section we received an HTTP 401 unauthorized. That means we can't access the admin panel as the user wiener. Okay, now go to the cookie header because the cookie header contains a parameter named session and the value of the session parameter is our JSON web token. A JSON web token consists of three parts. The first part is the header. If you double click it, it is decoded in the inspector section. The second part is the payload. If you double click it, it is decoded in the inspector section. And the last part of a JSON web token is a signature, but this is not important for us in this lab. Okay, now go to the JSON web token and double click the payload part. As you know, that is the second part, this one, and you see here in the decoded inspector section, here in the go to the property sub and replace the user wiener with the administrator 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 and click the apply changes button and send the request again and now you see in the response section we received an http 200 okay that means we have access to the admin panel scroll down to our link that we need to delete the user carlos here admin delete question mark username equal carlos copy this path and go to the request section to the request line and replace the endpoint admin with our just copied pass send the request and you see in the response section we received an http 302 found and of course you see in the browser we solved the lab in burp repeater click the follow direction button and in the response section now you see the message congratulation you solved the lab and the second message is user deleted successfully.